So, I wasn't actually gonna make this video. This is kind of a spur of the moment video. I was filming the entertainment in the Model S today and I went to a location I usually go to and I usually use autopilot to get to this location. And it's usually a bit of a faff. It's usually I'm constantly avoiding curbs, turning it off, taking over basically all the time. And on this occasion, it was unbelievable. It was actually like somebody had started driving the car. It was slowing down, it was slowing down for pedestrians in the correct manner, it wasn't slamming its brakes on randomly. Um, it was sl slowing down for turns. It was just really amazing to see. That is where I'm heading. I'm heading back to that location now. Guys, if we can head down to the like button and give it a little like, and if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, three videos a week at the moment. I'm trying my best to keep that upload schedule. It is difficult, but I'm trying my best. And thanks guys so much for the support so far. I can't believe we're over a thousand subs. Like I said, 10,000 is the next goal. I wanna show you guys what I experienced and how amazing I thought it actually was. So here we are. I didn't do any of this, so, I mean, for me, that's a bit tight into this corner. It's a bit on this guy's side, but actually, no problems at all. There's a bus stop there, I wonder what it's gonna do. Very precarious, it's gonna slam its brakes. No! So here we go. We are, we are in autopilot. Look how well it takes this. Slowed down to around the speed I would slow down to. We're around 23, going around quite a tight bend. It's gonna struggle here because there's a roundabout. That's fine, I will take over if needs be. Hey! This is what I'm talking about. It's never done that before. It's never got round that bend before. We're still in autopilot. This is, we're in a city centre right now in the UK and it's just smashed the hardest section of all of this because we're now leaving the city so everything else should be kind of easy for it. That is what I'm talking about. So I didn't, usually I don't even try autopilot on that seg segment of the road because it has so much issues with it. I've just, I just started leaving it and doing it myself. It's just took that, no problem. I'm gonna just, um, I had this set to two. I'm gonna set it to one because we're in a city. And uh, that might make me a little bit more nervous, but I think it will speed the car up a little bit. Well, I'm so impressed. So look, I'm, I'm telling you, in fact, if you go back to one of my old videos, I think I tried to tackle that exact roundabout in autopilot on the, in the Model 3, I think. Oh, no problem. It's so much smarter. Like it's so much better. I'm so glad I've done this video because it's, it's, I'm actually so impressed. See which one it takes? I'll take it, I'll take this lane, that's fine. It did it in a kind of safe manner, I'm happy with that one. Um, there's lots of busy road markings. I guess you can see it on, you should be able to see it on that camera. Wow, okay. Oh, yeah, I mean, I probably wouldn't get that close to that side, but it's not gonna do any damage to the rims. It is such a champ. This is unbelievable. Okay, I'm gonna take, there you go. It's take, I mean, it's take all of this, it's doing all itself. Oh, I can't even do a UE there. I need to do a U-turn somewhere. So, here you go, look at this. It's going around, taking these corners, fine. We're doing 40, which I would sensibly do around these corners. Uh, it's st we're still in autopilot, it's doing all itself. I mean, look at this. So I'm gonna come off up here, but as you saw, no problem. I want this car just ahead, just to go a bit ahead, just so I can really show you. Well, it might not do it now, you know, it might get a bit camera shy. There's a cyclist there, I don't think it would have, it would do well around there. So I'm gonna avoid that also, health and safety, guys. I'm not gonna end up killing someone. Okay, so look, the speed limit down here is 60, right? The old autopilot would bomb it at 60. It would just do 60, right? We're doing 40, 41. And it's not slowing down because the car ahead. I've actually got it on set to one thingy. T 
to a one car this car length. Okay, now it will slow down because of the car ahead because he's going slower than we are, but look at this. It's doing all these corners itself. But it's, it slows down, it, it's braking for the corners. Let me get away from this guy because you can't see it very well. Okay, so we're back into autopilot. So I mean, the car could do 60 down here if it wanted to. It's not, it's doing 35, it's slowed down, it's picking up, it's doing 41, 42, 43, we're coming up to a corner. Slow down itself, braked itself, 40. Come to a little strange junction here. Lovely, 33, look, it's slowing down itself. It's slowing down, like I can't, this is, system is so much smarter. I don't even know if you guys can see on that camera now. Speeding back up. It didn't slow down because of objects, it slowed down because the road was too tight of a bend to drive at that speed around that corner safely. 40, slowed down, 40. I mean, I wouldn't go this kind of speed around here if I'm being honest, it slowed down a bit. Slowing down, take over. Okay, I'm gonna stop here, there's no road markings at this point. See what it does here. Okay, I'm gonna slow down. There was no road markings at that point. It was still kind of going along on the left-hand side of the road. But guys, trust me, the system is learning and it's learning quick. So, I did a video recently reviewing full self-driving and a kind of, said that in the UK, the system just isn't there yet, it's not smart enough. And, I, you know, when I speak to people online from the States, they all say, what are you on about? It's, it's really intelligent system, like it really knows what it's doing. Before, it just felt like an intelligent autopilot, not even intelligent autopilot, just an autopilot system, like a lane keeping system, that if it was set to 60, it's gonna do 60, and that's what it's gonna stay at, and, uh, it, it'll do 60 even if it's a tight corner because it, the computer's saying it's a 60 mile per hour road It'll do 60 and that was the case and I don't think people in the States thought that's what I was exp I was Experiencing it's scary. That is scary to experience This is intelligent autopilot and obviously even now in the UK We're so much further back than the United States but the system is still doing great. Brushed a few leaves there, but the system is getting better. The system is definitely, I mean, I wouldn't get that close to that bush personally, but right, okay, so we're doing 46 here and the car is slowing down. It's not speeding up around this corner. We need 47. It's pulling off it a little bit, 47. 46, 45, it's slowing down for corners. 46, here we go, so a tight corner coming up, let's see if it bombs it round, 46, 44, 43, 41, 40, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, it's, I can't explain this. <laughs> it's amazing, and anyone who's watching who's in the United States is like, yeah, that's what the system does, we know that. We've not had this in the UK yet, this is, this is something new. This is the car learning, this is the car getting better. I mean, it's still, still not 100%. I'm still not, I still wouldn't take that corner like that, but it is getting so much better. 40 miles per hour, going past the car, does it slow down a bit? I mean, it doesn't need to really. 40, 39, going around the corner, 39, 38, 37, 38. The thing that's so crazy about it is when the car drives how you feel you would drive. Like I would slow, like, do you know, it feels like you're being driven by a taxi driver and not be, being driven by a computer. It's so much different. 41, we're back up to an okay speed. Let's have a look through here. So we're going for a pedestrian crossing. We're doing 44, 46, 47. I mean, I would have slowed down a little bit personally see what it does here. Okay, that, that was a bit scary, but it doesn't recognize junctions, so I'm gonna give it that, the benefit of the doubt on that one. <sighs> wow. As you can see, I'm kind of excited by it. Um, 
like you've just, I, I've just, it never used, so that road was impossible. That road, it would never do. And apart from that last little bit coming up to the junction, which it doesn't recognize junctions yet, or doesn't take junctions into account, the car was champed it, basically. Pretty much champed it. Um, I mean, it's slowing down to get to this roundabout, which is crazy. I'm not gonna, am I gonna leave it? I'll take over there. I mean, guys, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have done that if I was you. But um, for this sake of the video, you know, I thought it was worth a shot. But I mean, the car, this, the car is doing everything. I'm so impressed. The point I'm trying to make at the moment with this is just a month ago when I was reviewing the car, I'd made the full self-driving video, Model X, Model 3, just a month ago, the car could not do these roads. The car could not, point blank, could not do that roundabout. If you go, you can even go see it for yourselves in the, in the video where I do full self-driving versus the roundabout. The car cannot do it. And it's had no problem doing that. It's chose a lane. It's chose another lane. It just chose two, it was a four lane split. It chose a lane that it wanted to go into. Then there's two lanes on the right side. It chose another lane that it wanted to go into and it stuck to it nicely. Let's have a look through here. You can see the pedestrians. It can see the traffic lights. If it can get this, this much smarter in one month, is the idea of the car being a full self-driving car that ridiculous? Is it? I don't think it is. Not after experiencing the difference. And we are talking about, in the UK, we have probably one of the worst versions of full self-driving because we have so little data to go on. There's there's minuscule amount of data in comparison and there's a lot of regulations and restrictions of what the full self-driving is allowed to do. So with that, the improvements that I've seen in one month, is it fair to say that full self-driving has a really good chance of being a thing? A really good chance. You guys tell me. I wanna hear your thoughts, what do you guys think? I'm happy guys, I'm happy. Because I've just not experienced full self-driving or autopilot yet to a point where I go, this is capable. So many people in the States were saying, this is capable system of doing full self-driving, don't worry, this is gonna do it. And I just could not see it. After today, after seeing what it could do in a month, and after seeing what it can do to the roads that it couldn't previously do, I believe it. I do genuinely believe that the system is capable. It's just regulations, it's just down to the restrictions and the data. Tesla needs a bit more data, I guess, from the UK. I think the car is capable of doing it. That is why I'm probably gonna go and lock my full self-driving in for my Model 3. Um, I still have to make a decision about if I'm gonna put it on the Model 3 or if I'm gonna try and get it on the next car I buy, the S or the X. But whatever it is, I will be getting full self-driving. Um, I'll probably lock full self-driving into my Cybertruck, so that's an obvious one. Has anyone in the UK experienced this recent change, this recent shift? Or did you experience it when you were when you were first driving your early Model 3 in the States, or your Model S in the States? Did you experience a shift in the full self-driving when it got became more capable and smarter? Or I wonder if you guys in the UK have experienced it recently. I'm excited to get my Model 3 back just to sort of test out the autopilot and have a bit of fun with that. Guys, this kind of content is obviously unique to the Tesla and kind of auto industry world. So if you could do me a massive favor and share this on Twitter or on Facebook or anything like that, if you think people will be interested in listening to content, don't just spam it, but if you think people will be interested, if you think it will be interesting to show people in the States the rate at which the UK Tesla autopilot is changing, please share it. Uh, we did have a video one time going to a quite a big EV website and it really helped the channel and stuff. So anything like that really does help. If you like the video, like the video. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Guys, if you're thinking about buying a Tesla or solar from Tesla, please use the link in the description. It helps support the channel and I do really appreciate it. You get a thousand free supercharging miles or a hundred dollars off your solar. Also, I get a thousand free supercharging miles as well and it helps me. Um, like I say, create these videos. As always guys, you have been wonderful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.